The sphere with radius r fits exactly into the box. So what we got is a cube box and a sphere which fits into it exactly. So that all the edges of the sphere are touching the top, the bottom and the sides of the box. Calculate the volume of the space in the box, giving your answer in terms of r and pi. Obviously, if you put a sphere in a box, then you get some spaces. Right, we know that this distance is r. So if we know this distance is r, then this distance from here to here will be 2 times r. And therefore, this will also be 2 times r. And this will be 2 times r. So the volume of the box, so what we're going to do is find the volume of the box and take away the volume of the sphere. The volume of the box VB will be 2R times 2R, 2R. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and then R times R times R, which is R cubed. The volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi R cubed. That's normally given at IGCSC. So the volume of the space in the box will be the volume of the box minus the volume of the sphere, so our volume that we require. So it's going to be 8r cubed minus 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now in order to get a common denominator, with common denominator of 3, we need to multiply that 8 by 3. So we're going to get 24r cubed minus 4 pi r cubed over 3. There's a common factor of r cubed and there's a common factor of 4. And that will be left with 6 minus pi and that 3 will come out. So we get final answer 4 thirds r cubed bracket 6 minus pi. So this has been a vo uh, video to show you how to find the space if you put a sphere that fits exactly into the box. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.